Cancer couples, hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela. Keep in mind, this is a general reading and everything may not resonate with everyone, including details and the outcome. Okay, so anything that I say in this reading can go vice versa. And please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more clarity if you happen to need it. Holy Spirit, this is for Cancer couples. Second week of March. Holy Spirit and Spirit Guides, please show me what Cancer couples can expect in their love lives. For the second week of March going into the third week of March. You know what? We are in the first week of March, aren't we? No, technically this is the second week. So we're going to stick to that. Second week of March going into the following week. All right. Let's take a look. Cancer couples. Okay. What is this about? All right. Cancer couples. Are you feeling stuck? It looks like you're either feeling stifled or you're feeling stuck. Like you can't get out. You feel suffocated. You felt, you feel as though you're trapped in a situation. And you could be dealing with a cancer. Pardon the glare. You could be dealing with a cancer, it looks like. And yeah, you're feeling like things are not moving forward. You're feeling stuck. You're feeling uh, secretive. Or you're dealing with someone who is secretive or secretly dealing with an ex. Could be the mother or father of their children. You could have children with this person. They could easily be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. It looks like your home life is being threatened. And you're having regrets about this relationship. But it looks like after all is said and done, you're feeling like you're making the wise, making the wise choice. We're not sure what the wise choice is, but it looks like you're feeling like you're making a wise choice and you're, you're praying, you're meditating over a decision in order to be able to make the, the, a wise choice. I'm seeing that you're considering taking a break from your partner because you're dealing with someone who could be a bit manipulative and trickery, tricky or bringing trickery to the table. Someone could be very smooth with their words and they could know exactly what to say to keep you in the same position, keep you stifled and stuck in a situation that's making you unhappy. So yeah, things are up in the air right now. Things, uh, you're trying to find a balance. Maybe you're trying to compromise with your partner, but to no avail. I feel like someone's drifting off. Look at that. You got two knights. Actually three. This could be a three-party situation. Not normally how I read it. It's usually that they are court cards, but I'm seeing, you know, everyone is facing two different directions. There's just, and it could have to do with a third party, an ex. It looks like you're thinking about going your separate ways. You're feeling like the two of you are not marching on the same accord anyway. And things could have been up in the air for quite some time. And now you're come, you're starting to face the reality of the situation. It looks like, yeah, you want a future with someone, but not, not here. It could be you, Cancer, that's thinking about leaving the situation to be with someone else that you see a future with. Because it looks like you're not hanging around in this situation. You are out of there. You've been patient. You've been trying to find that balance with your partner. You've been trying to compromise. You've been trying to heal from this situation with your partner. But like I said, it's like they're, they're present but vacant. And so, yeah, you're ready for a new solid beginning. Okay, because you see, this could even be you with your career. You see a solid future elsewhere. You know, and it looks like with your job situation, you're having to... And take some time to evaluate 
what's wise in this situation. I'm seeing, yeah, you're leaving someone behind. You're leaving this, this person out in the cold. But you know, like I said, this person was absent anyway. They weren't, they were present in body, but vacant in mind. Like I said, you are doing some introspection. You're thinking about what it is that you want. You're, you're taking a break. You're meditating. You're praying. Um, you're distancing yourself emotionally and your partner could see this as being unfair. You could be dealing with a Libra or you've been treating, feeling like you've been treated unfairly and you're feeling stuck and you're trying to find a way out of a situation where things are just always up in the air. And you could be dealing with a partner that's been flighty in and out of your life. I'm seeing a lot of arguments with this person. Someone's taking the initiative with someone else and they're ready to do so. So that could be what that argument is about. And someone being completely honest that they want to deal with someone else. Which could be an ex. Children's mother, father's mother. Leo for some of you, Virgo. Okay, you've lost faith in this situation. You don't have any faith in this person anymore. And yeah, someone's very immature with the way that they communicate with you. And you, yeah, you've had this on again, off again cycle. You're leaving this situation with no closure. And you're, you don't have any qualms about leaving it with no closure. Because you're tired of the drama. You're tired of the backstabbing. You're tired of all of the harsh words, the immature communication. And it looks like you're at your breaking point. You're like on bended knee. You're, you're done. You, you can't stand up anymore. That's how broken you feel as a result of how things have played out. Yeah, you've been trying to evaluate the situation. Maybe for a while, maybe you've not been wanting to look at the situation. Take a look, she's blindfolded. Like there's something that she doesn't want to see. Maybe you've been trying to cover your eyes to what's really going on and distancing yourself. But I'm feeling like you're also feeling this feeling of isolation anyway, because your partner is MIA. Like I said, they're there present, you know, in body, but mentally they're on a vacation. They're, they've mentally taken a break from this relationship and they're not, they don't really, can't say that they don't, I'm not trying to paint them as being callous. Like they don't care about your feelings, but I'm seeing the justice in reverse as if they realize that they're treating you wrong, but they, maybe they're coming, you know, trying to find excuses in their mind about why they're doing it. And here it is. This person has been trying to decide between you and someone else for quite some time, which is why things are up in the air. And you know, this person has been lying to you because they haven't been wanting to make a decision. We're gonna find out why. But yeah, I'm saying someone wants a second chance with someone from the past. And I'm saying that someone is leaving or they've already left. Because yeah, they checked out mentally first, but now physically they're about to leave a situation. Could be a fire sign. And they're feeling like the situation, leaving it is a victory. Or they've been getting that time and attention with someone else. It could have been a Capricorn or a Leo that they were getting that they were getting edified from. It looks like someone just wants to be built back up after they were broken down by their partner. So yeah, someone sees a future with someone else. Like I said, they don't have faith in this relationship any longer. Keep in mind, this is just a general reading, so please don't make any life-changing decisions based simply on a, a general reading. It's only general. So this message is for not every, is not for every cancer that's out there, okay? Keep that in mind as you hear this. You've been having a lot of sleepless minds, a sleepless nights. You've been trapped in your mind, trapped in your own head, or voluntarily being trapped in a toxic situation, three-party situation. And there's definitely been infidelity without a doubt. Or the situation is headed for, no, that says it's, there's infidelity there. It's general. For some of you, 
this person is already checked out. They've already been unfaithful to you physically with someone else. They've already crossed the line. For some of you, for others of you, this is just mental. They're thinking about how they can untrap themselves. Because someone is about to liberate themselves from this. Right? They're about to set themselves free. Mm, all these cards are talking about past. Someone from the past for sure. There could be religious factors between you and your partner. There could be difference in ethnicity, difference in upbringing, difference in spiritual path. So someone sees a future with someone else and they believe that this other person is their true love and they're working on rebuilding this relationship because they are, they're leaving this current situation because they feel like this other person could be the one. Finances and career, you know, money could be up in the air. It could be a bit scarce right now. But finances and career are affecting your love life right now. That could also be what these arguments are about. And see, this is you, Cancer. You just want your partner to make the effort. Make the effort to show that they love you and that they care. And instead, they're being the magician. See, I don't normally read the magician as negative. But with the cards surrounding it, I'm feeling like, yeah, this is someone trying to manipulate the situation. They know what words to say to keep you stuck and keep you around. They give you this false impression that it's safe to love, but really they have no intention of sticking around. And for some of you, with the devil card and the two of pentacles, they're deliberately leaving the situation up in the air because they're manipulating they know how to, how to keep you stuck. Maybe there's something that they feel like they can get from you and that they can gain from keeping the situation stuck. Or genuinely, someone just doesn't know what it is that they want. The message, positive news, positive outcome. This is your, your partner getting a message. And once they get this message, I'm feeling like they're jumping ship. They're just waiting for this message. The start of something new. Apprehension, moving into the world, doubt, fear. You've been apprehensive about your partner for quite some time and about whether or not, you probably completely already know what's going on. You've been apprehensive about whether or not they're leaving, and yes, they are. Liberation. Breaking free from a negative attachment. Someone's ready to break free and they're trying to find a way to be able to do it. And they're waiting for word from someone else, from an ex. Someone that they could have children with because I'm seeing children recurring in the cards. Come in. Appreciation, spiritual and emotional reconnection. See, someone's trying to reconnect with someone from their past. Sadness, an ending, a new beginning. This is some of you, because it is general. Someone was apprehensive possibly about leaving because they could possibly have children with you. But I'm saying that there are children somehow intertwined for some of you, whether they have children with you or children from someone else. This could be you apprehensive about them because you probably already knew that they were dealing with an ex, that something could have spilled, you know, came out in an argument that they wanted to leave to be with someone else. And so you've seen this person emotionally withdraw from you for quite some time. And uh, that was the clue. And here's the result. 
they're not sticking around and someone ends up feeling stabbed in the back because they're ending it because they see a future elsewhere and they don't have any faith in this relationship any longer and they leave someone out in the cold and like the magician they just vanish disappearing at But yeah, they could have found an immature way to tell you. But I, mean, I feel like the context clues were there all along. This person just didn't know what they wanted. And with the devil and the magician, they were manipulating the situation to, to keep it around, to keep things moving along in their favor so that they could take the time out to figure out what they wanted. And so this has been you having a lot of anxiety and worry over the situation. Wondering when the other shoe is going to drop. You already knew this person was cheating for some of you. And you were just waiting for the day that they either dropped the bomb on you or that they just left. But with the Emperor card, okay, some of you could be dealing with an Aries. I feel like you already knew what was going on. You know, you were already wise to the situation. I don't feel like this caught you off guard. Could have been. It's general, right? Relax the hold of darkness and be a cause. This is you accepting the situation for what it is. It could be giving you a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of worry, a lot of insecurity. You could feel trapped in your emotions and not know how to escape. Or this could have been your partner not knowing how to escape a situation because it could be completely flipped where the other person was being manipulative. You know, this could have been you, Cancer, being manipulative. And this other person that you're, you know, your partner, they're trying to figure out a way out, a way to get out. Let's see. Cancer couple, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for the second week of March. Follow your own rhythm. This could even be you with a job. It looks like you're leaving behind a job that maybe you've had for quite some time. Maybe you've had some type of childhood aspiration. And you're not worried about what everyone thinks. You're ready to follow your own dream. Whether, yeah, see that inspiration. Something is inspiring you to leave, you know, because when you were a child, maybe, I don't know, you had some type of aspiration and now you're realizing that it's the right time. You know, you're feeling like this is the wise decision to make because you're looking into your future. And maybe you've tried this situation again and again and it just didn't work out. And you've been trying to evaluate which decision to make, should you or should you not, but you've got some type of inspired idea or someone came along to give you the inspiration. So this is you surrendering the situation and trusting that it's right for you. And with the magician, you're manifesting what it is that you want, the type of future that you want. No longer being, you know, no longer any of this self-deception. So within, you're getting a rebirth. You've got some type of an awakening happening between you. Look at this. Or not between you, but within you. Come to life. This is you coming to life by following your own rhythm and getting that inspiration to go towards what it is that you want. Whether it's a person other than your current partner, because it seems like this situation is full of deception and it's headed for an ending regardless. And it, it seems like you know this, but I feel like there could be some type of resistance to change. Look at that healing from the past. I got this for cancer singles as well. There's a need to heal from the past because I'm saying if there's no healing, it's gonna keep you feeling stuck. It's gonna keep you in anxiety and worry. 
It's going to keep you from coming to life, giving birth. Some of you could have found out in the midst of all of this that you're pregnant. All right, there could be children involved. This is you giving birth to an idea that you're inspired about. It says, I'm giving forth new and dynamic energy into the world, right? Something makes you come to life, you know, other than this situation. Communicating freely. I communicate from the depths of my being. And I feel like that's what's going on here. The situation has been headed for a breakup. And with the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords, yeah, here it is. Someone communicates freely. And, it, and then that presents the swords into someone's back. They tell you that they want to go. They want to leave because they have someone that inspires them and makes them come to life and they see a future with that person. And so those words ultimately lead to leaving someone out in the cold. This could even be illness for some of you. Someone could be ill. It could be a lot of mental illness for some of you. A lot of mental challenges. Someone's mental health could be at stake in this situation as well. Look, there's a need to trust your intuition that you've been endowed with by God, Cancer. Listen to your intuition. What is it telling you to do? It says, my life is truly guided. Mm -hmm. Listen with your heart. Because if you listen with your heart, it will alleviate all of this anxiety and this worry. I trust the messages I receive from my heart, it says, and here you are embracing the future. It says I step into the future with an open heart. You know, you're leaving behind this situation because you have a need to heal from all of these past wounds, all of this disappointment and heartache and insecurity, and you're ready to leave it all behind. So let's take a look, Holy Spirit. What advice do you have for Cancer couples, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for this week into next week? Courage. And it looks like you're having the courage to leave behind the situation. And it says be courageous and stand up for your beliefs, and that's what you're doing. Creative writing. <clears throat> Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen, an article or book. Crystal clear intentions, especially with the magician. This is you going into a new situation, right? You're leaving behind anything that held you back in the past. Maybe you're going on some type of self-employment venture, but you've got crystal clear intentions with the magician card. You're being clear about what you desire and focus up. It says be clear about what you want and focus upon it with unwavering faith. Look at that. You got courage again. Some of you are trying to build up the courage to leave a situation or build up the courage to be honest with your partner because there could be some type of change in your family dynamic that, that you know, comes as a result of this. Because I'm seeing someone's moving, leaving, moving on, and they're about to take the next step. Look at that. They're taking the next step now. They're moving. They're leaving Five of Pentacles, leaving, it, leaving someone out in the cold because someone is completely honest about what they want. With the Hermit card, they've evaluated what they wanted. They've done some introspection. They could have even been, been writing, or this is you writing out, kind of trying to clear your head of all of these stuck emotions. For some of you, Cancer, it's going to be necessary to get outdoors. It says go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Yeah, maybe that's the new adventure you're going, the new inspiration that you have. Maybe it's creative writing and maybe getting outdoors will help you get grounded and centered and let go of all the stress and anxiety. 
you know, it'll help you get into the state of prayer and meditation. So, of course, this is going to dredge up a lot of emotions within you. But look, you have an opportunity to heal from all of this so that you can move on and manifest a brighter future for yourself because it looks like you, you're not lacking the courage to be able to do so. Look at this. God wants to turn on that light within you that you might be ignoring. So I'm saying that there's a need to surrender. Be at peace. Come to life. Because I don't see life in this. I see someone being stuck, unhappy, and trapped. So I feel like God is trying to liberate you and get you to be inspired enough to realize that it's time to follow your own rhythm. Because I feel like that's what you think about in your quiet times. So I'm going to leave that there. Cancer couples, this concludes your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you can do so by going to my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. And you can also reach out to me on the Instant Go app, okay? And I will get back to you within 24 hours on that app. And I'm available by text only on Instant Go. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment if you choose. I'll see you next week.